Rates at the Mohonk Mountain House are not cheap, but they include all meals and tips. In keeping with the hotel's historic nature, the rooms have traditional decor and range from the comfortable to super luxe two-story tower suites. But the center of attraction at Mohonk is indisputably outdoors. Farther afield is the village of New Paltz, a lively cluster of boutiques, bookstores, and cafes with a bohemian vibe. It's got a lot of attraction for day trippers. Jack Murphy, a photographer and artist, came to New Paltz in the 60s to attend college at the local state university. He still feels right at home here. The village itself still has a lot of what the old, you know, the 60s days to it. But New Paltz goes back a lot farther than the Woodstock era. Just check out Huguenot Street. It's the oldest street in America with the original houses still on it. Move over Plymouth. Take a seat, St. Augustine. Huguenot Street was founded in 1678 by French Protestants fleeing persecution. Many of its original houses still stand, no doubt because they were constructed of the plentiful local stone. Huguenot Street, a section of which is now a nonprofit historic district, is today recognized as the oldest continually inhabited street in America. Meanwhile, back up in the mountains where Huguenot Street's stone was quarried, this kingdom of rock has become a recreational dream world. The environment is unique. It's one of the world's great and special places. An amazing place for caving, rock climbing, mountain biking, cross-country skiing, snowshoeing, edible medicinal plants, deep forests, swimming, waterfalls. It really has it all. I can guarantee if I woke you up tomorrow morning and we went out for a sunrise hike, you're going to come back a different person. You're going to have a little different perspective. Then there is that peculiar, hopelessly unique hotel up on the mountain, founded by Quakers with an abiding faith in nature as a healing force and a power for good. What Mohonk provided then, we provide now, and it's still as important today as it was then. This castle on a cliff perched on a lake in the sky. From the very beginning, there was an understanding that this was something important, that it mattered not only to the family, but to so many guests who come back year after year, generation after generation of their family. People will sometimes say to me, thank goodness you haven't changed. And, and I'll, I'll laugh to myself because we've changed, we've had to change, but the essence of Mohonk has stayed the same. What a place and the meaning of Mohunk, the Native American word for lake in the sky. Yeah, you know, the Smileys were progressives in a way as well. As early as the 1880s, they were holding conferences on the property to talk about improving the government's treatment of Native Americans. So they took their place in the community very seriously. That's Chronicle for tonight. Thanks so much for joining us, everyone. I'm Anthony Evans. And I'm Shana Seymour. Have a great evening. We'll see you back here tomorrow night. Good night.